two-inch reach advantage for the champion, Kamaru Usman. All right, now to get this main event started proper, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Florida State Athletic Commission. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Chris Lee, Tony Weeks, and Sal Amato. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And brought to you by Amazon Studios' new film, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, starring Michael B. Jordan, coming soon, only on Prime Video. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for! Live from the Boston Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida! Fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record, 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the number four ranked welterweight contender in the world, the challenger. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, by way of Ochi, Nigeria, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, gentlemen, we've been on the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Keep it clean, touch gloves if you wish, and let's do it. Sweaty palms. This is so crazy. Like goosebumps. This is so crazy. I feel so nervous. Like what in the yeah. world, man? And look at look at look at Jorge. Talking to him. Usman is is, is stoic though. Ready. Calm. Ready. Let's fight. All right, the UFC welterweight championship is underway. Jorge Masvidal in the red trunks. Kamar Usman in the black and gold as befits a champion. Usman had a beautiful jab against Gilbert Burns, and then he would switch to southpaw and land the front hand jab, his power hand. That's what he finished Burns with. Let's see how quickly he switches the stance tonight against Masvidal, a much higher level striker. Masvidal is so slippery on his feet. He's so slick. Tyron Woodley once called him the best boxer in the UFC. Seems to be attacking that lead leg of Usman early. In just a stand-up real, Masvidal is a handful for anybody, man. Technique is tight. Everything comes from where it's supposed to. Comfortable and confident is Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And he's tremendously durable. We've never really seen him hurt. Never really seen him in deep trouble inside the octagon. Oh! He just got stung. That's nice right hand by Usman. But Masvidal ate it. Usman has a beautiful right hand, man. It, it doesn't seem fast, but it always seems to land. And he can put you out. You saw him break down Kobe Covington with that shot over the course of five rounds and put him down and finished him in the fifth. 
We also have to recognize that he's getting better as a striker. His background is in wrestling. But over the course of his career inside the octagon, we've seen him get more and more efficient and smooth with his striking. And he's been coached by two of the best striking minds in the game, Henry Hooft and now Trevor Whitman, as Usman effectively attacks the body there. Usman's doing a real good job with his jab right now. And he's mixing up the target on that jab to the body and to the head. And twice now he's landed that beautiful right hand. The heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou in the corner of Kamal Usman. He leaves for Cameroon tomorrow to celebrate his world title. He'd like to get on that plane, having had his guy come through. You know, Kamal Usman has such a great high crotch to your left leg that when he dips on that body jab, you have got to respect it and be ready to defend takedowns. Because if you don't, that's what's going to happen. Powerful takedown early for Usman. Beautiful takedown by Usman, got to the body and just exploded into that takedown finish. Now he's in the guard of Masvidal. He's hit the back of the head yeah. here. Herb Dean to the comms. Masvidal likes to get feet on the hips and push you off. But he's very good defensively off of his back. But he can cut you from this position as well. Yeah, some slicing elbows from Masvidal on his back. Under two minutes now in round one. But Usman's happy here. Usman's oh. happy with being on top here. That was a big elbow. A big elbow there by Usman. Because this is his comfort zone in the wrestling. He's on top. He's grappling. That is where he wants to be against Masvidal. Masvidal landed a beautiful elbow right he there. Did. Those are hard elbows, and from a good angle for him. And now Game Bread trying to use the fence to get upright. Nice stand up there by Masvidal, but he's got to move Usman's head inside. As long as Usman's head is on the outside, Masvidal will not be able to get, be able to get away from him. If he starts to use his right arm to shift the head inside, then he can start to face him again. But Kamal is so strong, man. So physically gifted for the weight class. Great hand control by Masvidal to get back up. Under a minute now to go in the round. Usman back to work to the body. Inside leg kick for Game Bren. Oh! Oh, oh. big right hand by, Mas by Usman. That one, oh, that one. A good jab, too. Oh. Uh, See, and that's where Usman looks a little bit. That's yeah, where you man. can see the inexperience in the striking, right? When he tries to load up, when he's comfortable, and he's letting everything fly, like he right lands. There. But like right there, right? Yeah. You see a little bit of the striking inexperience because Usman loads up and goes wild. But I think he tightens up a little bit when he faces a guy like Jorge, who's so efficient. But he's done a good job of landing, right? Usman's landed the punches as well. But there's that knee, appeared to get through. Beautiful knee there by Masvidal. <laughs> Round one in the books. This corner can is brought to you by Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Grab one today at Casey's. Yep. Deep breath. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Deep breath. Deep breath. A drink when you're ready. Hey, when when we when we go to the wall, let's use the wizard. Don't let him get to your back if, if you get taken down. You, use the wizard. It, it, and, and let's at, let's attack once we're back up on our feet. Find that wall if you get taken down. Find the wall. There's Colby Chaos Covington in the building. Will he be next? UFC 261, Usman versus Masvidal 2 is brought to you by Devour, the official frozen meal of UFC. Never just eat Devour. Dean Thomas, talk to me, my man. What do you have? 
going down to the body with that jab. That jab is going to pay its dividends later on in the fight. Also, too, that's also set up the right hand for him. But be careful with the leg kicks of Masvidal. Usman doesn't have a lot of meat around them legs. He's going to try to use that to set up some set up some shots later on in the fight. So watch the leg kicks for Masvidal. Thank you, Dean. You saw the live odds there a moment ago, a little bit closer than they were at the start of the fight. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Even watching Masvidal in the first round, right? Masvidal didn't have to rush like he did in the first fight because he had to empty the tank in round one because he knew he only had a round of cardio. This time he was able to fight through round one and he still feels good and confident starting round two. And of all the superlatives... Oh! It was an inverted reverse triangle oh. choke in 2009. But he's asking right now what happened. He doesn't know what happened. No. He took the first cut, but you can't take punches like that from a guy like Kamaru Usman. He's questioning his corner right now. He doesn't believe it. Unbelievable. Well, we already knew he was the best of the world at 170 pounds. More yeah, affirmation tonight. And with Khabib Nurmagomedov retired, Johnny Bones hasn't fought in a while. That man looks like the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right hey, now, to my eyes. They thought, they thought that Masvidal to have a chance had to be a stand-up fight. Usman beat him in a stand-up fight. Oh, Knocked oh, him oh, out good. cold. Knocked him out cold. I can't wait to see this again. Let's take a look at it. Please give us a replay. A lot of mutual respect between these two combatants, despite the rivalry. This fight replay brought to you by Never Uphold Character. Here it is. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh my man. God. And it's so perfect. Oh my goodness. Hey, when you're It's chin literally touches. the perfect right hand. And look, he is out completely oh. cold. There's no question whatsoever what oh happened. Look at that. Look at how limp he is when he goes down. Whole body I mean, went limp. Perfect punch. He tried to wake up. Look, watch. After he hits, boom! Look at he's out cold. Look, you see him try to get up. He's trying here. Hammer fist and got the hammer it. fist yep. shut the lights out for good. You, you, you Insane. Know, you know, John said, Kamaru said he wants to show a better version. Guess what? Johnny's better. And boy, that's a scary thought. It doesn't get better. That's how, a scary how you, thought. How, how can you get better? Few grown men there who really enjoy <laughs> Oh my their goodness. Jobs. <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. Crazy. Insane. And what a night for that team and that head coach, oh my Trevor Effing Whitman. Oh, my God. Oh. Two spectacular knockouts. Hey, we've been Both talking in about the first round. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Champion of the world!